We are actually teaming up with Sleeve Chief. Um, a lot of you might have recognized this brand as they make deck boxes and a few other interesting things along with the chance to uh, get OCG sleeves on their site as well. We now have discount code MCOL40 working and actually at 2 p.m. EST this week they're going to have over sleeves here for Kaido versus Shenlong and for everybody that enjoys the chance to kind of pick up custom sleeves. This might actually be a brand of sleeves that you want to pick up. I'll leave a link down below to their site so you can get these Sunday at 2 p.m. EST. Let's pass it over to Market Watch, shall we? Don't make 30% of you that have not smashed the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out on more honest content. Holy math, mech. Um, you know, Sigmas are on the, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? To the moon! Uh, this has been what, like the... <laughs> How many times has this happened at this stage? $16, $14, $16. Yeah, um, nice math mix here. Uh, when you really are in the pinnacle of the competitive season here, yeah, people are uh, people are really, really excited here. Super factorials are also on the up and up now, too, at $11. Um, yeah. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say about these Mathematic buyouts. The deck is incredibly strong. Firewall Defensor just made the combo lines, you know, more consistent in terms of things. And I mean, equations are already $7. Good news is subtractions are kind of cheap, and then additions are very, very cheap. But <sighs> cheap, cheap deck cores really do make people kind of lose their minds. On the topic of Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare, Robbie, we have the Structure Deck coming for Jack Atlas. Do I want to get a Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare? I mean, you're competing for the Ultimate Rare as well. I guess it kind of comes down to, like, player preference, obviously. Um, this card being, you know, a card that will get to be extended out, so you can also Synchro over it to set up. I mean, you're already at $48 on up to 50 for these. For the light play category, you do got to keep in mind that, you know, these did come with a little bit more scratching on them than a lot of the previous other sets had. But fair heads up that if you're planning on playing anything Jack Atlas, I mean, the car can only rise in value at this point. I don't foresee that we're going to see a spin down in value anytime soon for this. So kind of keep that in mind. Egyptian God Slime. Um, this card has not been... This card hasn't been reprinted yet. What's what's going on with that? Why, why? I mean, you're not gonna probably see a reprint for this anytime soon because it's paywall behind anime tax. <laughs> but uh, man, look at look at all those all those front pages. You hit the sixty eight dollar, the seventy one dollar mark. Um, I I hate to say it, but I don't think that we're gonna see any sort of calm down on this anytime soon. I still think that the card is absolutely busted for what it does, but when it's Egyptian God support on this level, of course it's going to maintain that incredibly expensive price tag. Number 90, the Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. You know, in terms of like expected value, seeing that these are still $49 and that we, this is getting the reprint, right? In the in the battle set later on in, in the block? They hit on up to 55 freaking dollars at this point in time. <sighs> you know, I, I actually am pretty, pretty disgusted. I actually just saw this. I haven't looked at all these scapegoating forever. Wow, these, uh, these, whew, 45, 46, 53, uh, 46. Yeah, these are still $53. These actually, this is one of those more interesting buys. I mean, like, GOAT players would rather have other potential higher rarity cards, which is perfectly understandable at the end of the day, but that's interesting. Gravekeeper's Oracle for a Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. These are $4. Now, keep in mind here that if you wanted to have a highest rarity version of this card for whatever potential reason, you can get them here. Um, I don't have anything else to really say. I just thought that was kind of cool. Galtea, the Orcust Automaton. Um, I, mean, I just bought a damage copy for $40. I don't really like that, but all right, 60 bucks. Uh, yeah, coming about $80 right now. Okay, so that's, that's actually quite strong that we are seeing 
um, Orcus value still do it. I still can't believe that like the highest one up here, hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, Archfiend Eccentrics. No, it's been a little while since we've tracked this. I mean, thirty three dollars, eight dollars. These have actually calmed down. That's pretty good. And then you're looking at ten dollars and then seven dollars. Okay, so some decent value retracing back here in the Archfiend Eccentric department. Zeus four hundred and sixty dollars. Well, um, these have gone up. The Altis are officially at $68, yikes. And then you're at $38 right now for the Phantom Rage, $27 right now for the Tin of Ancient Memories. Every single copy of Zeus is up. Like, you, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. <sighs> wow, 18 to $19 right now. Okay, I mean, hey, they're not $24 anymore. That's good. Previously, looking at this stupid thing, and we we had it at the the ridiculous price point that we did. That was uh, that was not what I wanted to see. That was that was pretty ridiculous in terms of price. Blue eyes, Jetto Dragon. Um, these are still twenty nine, twenty six, twenty nine dollars for the most part here. Yeah, look, you twenty six, twenty seven dollars, twenty eight bucks, and these continue to escalate the way it looks. I'm pretty sure that we're we're gonna see a reprint of this in the tens, but for whatever reason right now, the collector's market is just holding on to these with the absolute ferocity because they don't want to let them go. I mean, the card has escalated up in how much value at this stage. I um, mean, just seeing that overall hold is very interesting. Ferocious Flame Swordsman. So. In the OCG, these have kind of started to get bought out in terms of, like, numbers. I mean, this was a dual overload common. You have a lot of people with a lot of these on the market. Yeah, Gamer's Choice is 339 of these at an extremely tr cheap price point. There, there's so many of these on the market. If you're planning on playing, like, Infernoble Combo or any of those particular decks, you only need one copy of this to kind of get you through a majority of the combo line. So just have a copy of this in case you know you plan on playing any of the decks that can have access to a generic fire link monster it's not like you need to go through massive amounts of craziness one ofs are usually pretty cheap uh quick draw synchron oh boy somebody mentioned this the other day i was like really 73 dollars 73 dollars i bought some mod plays at 50 bucks yeah 63 bucks yeah these these escalate up pretty freaking quick actually all of the all of this stuff in this department like all the synchron related stuff we've been talking about through all the market watches it's just interesting to see it do its thing mask of restrict for the worldwide release this would be your lon reprint these are 15 bucks that's hilarious regular labyrinth of nightmares are also like ten dollars ots maybe these are really ten dollars as well did i have we just missed something with mask huh all copies of Mask look like they're up. Oh, no, these are cheaper copies. Interesting. Well, wow, you got some very expensive Mask of Restricts. I did not know that Super Rares were $9. I, I really did not know that. Huh. Aratama. Oh, boy. $12. $8. $11. Oh, uh, yeah, these escalate up. 12 bucks. I uh, can't say that I'm not surprised about this. That's uh, That's a pretty good ramp up. Uh, Rescue Ace cards, I don't know, these are heading on up to the 50 plus dollar mark now. Uh, Rescue Ace Turbulence is 36, the Hydrants are now 10 bucks in holding. Uh, regular Turbulences are 3 to 4 bucks. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you this for what this is. Um, you know, the value, at least in the Hydrants, still get the core for like 40 bucks. I, I think that's still good. Uh, Xeta Encores, oh boy, 18 bucks. Oh boy, also $18. Yeah, both copies are spinning on up here. And more, we'll see how purely holds up through the future weekend here, but uh, that's what you're looking at right now. And Fire Flint Ladies are three dollars. I can't tell you the last time that we looked at Fire Flint Ladies um, to like see where these have been going right now, but this is another one of those. Wow, um, these escalated up quickly. Also, dandelion tokens here for the the Korean Super Rares, four hundred and fifty dollars. I bet you didn't even know that these existed. These are by far one of the most beautiful cards. I, I've only ever owned one set of these in my entire life, and uh, they they were gorgeous. Uh, I actually really miss these. Uh, we've also got the Akiza tokens here. Glad to see these are back in stock. These are $15. Um, very, very nice to see that some cheap affordability 
has returned back to these. These were these were pretty up there. And then of course the tiger tokens are still available out here for uh, forty dollars. Some adorable little side stuff that you might not have noticed. So that is everything that we have going on in today's market. Very very interesting to say the least. But please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.